September 18, 1850. In Washington, America's divide between North and South over slavery deepens. Congress passes the Fugitive Slave Act, allowing slave owners to reclaim slaves who escape to other states. The law helps fuel the outbreak of the Civil War a decade later. 2001. Letters postmarked Trenton, New Jersey that later test positive for anthrax are sent to NBC anchorman Tom Brokaw and the New York Post. The letters are part of the anthrax scare that kills five people and infects more than a dozen others just weeks after the September 11th terror attacks. 1975. In San Francisco, newspaper heiress Patricia Hearst is captured more than a year and a half after her kidnapping. Hearst says her kidnappers, known as the Symbionese Liberation Army, brainwashed her into joining them in at least two robberies. She spends prison time for bank robbery, but her sentence is later commuted. 1961, in Africa, U.N. Secretary General Dag Hammarskjöld is killed when his plane crashes in what's now Zambia. Hammarskjöld, who was on a peace mission in what's now the Democratic Republic of Congo, was 56 years old. 1905, actress Greta Garbo, the enigmatic movie star of the 1920s and 1930s, is born in Stockholm, Sweden. And 1970. In London, guitarist Jimi Hendrix, a music icon of the 60s counterculture, dies of a drug overdose. He was 27 years old. Today in History, September 18th, Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.